life is all about three things it's about winning losing and sharing you win everybody's heart you lose big things and drink with our hand from the tap we used to have tank tank our tank head uh, rain water we uh, like drinking rain water that was better than the water in our well because our well had little bit salty water because the sea is was sea is nearby our farm salt water used to come and a smile is a sign of joy a smile is a sign of joy a hug is a sign of love and a laugh is a sign of happiness a smile is a sign of joy a hug is a sign of love and a laugh is a sign of happiness hello everyone welcome to card ig card game seven hand challenge trump last week in my last episode i told you about diwali i hope all of you enjoyed your diwali and ate a lot of sweets made a lot of sweets and ate a lot of sweets if you are celebrating diwali you must have enjoyed your diwali Uh, life is all about three things it's about winning losing and sharing you win everybody's heart you lose bad things and you share good memories last uh, in my last episode i asked you a riddle what is the difference between a jeweler and a jailer and the answer for that is one sells watches and the other watches sells jeweler sells watches and jailer watches sells so that is uh, that was my last uh, riddle today's riddle is what is in the center of gravity what is in the center of gravity that's my today's riddle if you know the answer you can write in the uh, comment section you can write in the comment section my today's story is about shopping in our days 40s 50s we didn't have big shops like supermarkets we had no supermarket there were shops in the town and shops in the villages small shops where we uh, went to buy we didn't have to buy a lot of things in the shop uh, all we had to buy was salt garlic onion mostly those were the things and we had a small shop in the village it has steps going up then we it had a small veranda in it and then we enter the shop you will find only three or four shop people shopping not as we see nowadays in the big supermarkets people going with trolley collecting their shopping and then going to check out it wasn't like that in those days 40s 50s i'm talking about we used to go up the steps and then the veranda then inside the shopkeeper used to stand behind the counter and all the goods that he had to sell was on the shelf behind him so we were not allowed to touch anything we wanted to buy and uh, we, we used to ask the shopkeeper for the things we needed 
The children only went to buy sweets, chewing gum. And there's one story about chewing gum. There was a man, he didn't know the name. He didn't know it was called chewing gum. And they must in just think in 1940s, 50s, people didn't know what chewing gum was. So he saw one uh, Fijian girl eating chewing gum and making kit, kit, kit sound. And this man said he wanted to buy chewing gum. He said, Kai beat ni di lalki kit, kit kar di do do ana ke de de pai. Kai beat ni di lalki kit, kit kar di do do ana ke de de pai. So shopkeeper didn't know what that man was saying. And he told that man, Baranda niche, Baranda niche. <laughs> that meant, uh, go down, go down, go away from here. So the poor man wanted to buy chewing gum. He didn't know the name. He, uh, he had the, saw that uh, Fijian girl chewing and making noise, kit, kit. So uh, the, that was one funny story about the shop and the shopping in those days. Uh, how many of you have been eating chewing gum or now eating chewing gum and making the noise kit 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 and blowing big balloons with the chewing gum and it gets stuck all on your lips and then you have to take use um, oil to move your the chewing gum out and, and if you get chewing gum in your hair or on your cloth there's only one good way of cleaning your cloth or hair from the chewing gum use coke just um, put your hair in the coke and the chewing gum will come out or on your cloth little bit of coke and the chewing gum will come out that's how we take out the chewing gum so that wish to be our shopping in our days and we had no supermarket, no trolley, just go and buy what we needed uh, and use our bag, our bag, no plastic bags and no plastic bottles, no drinking water in plastic bottles. We used to drink with our hand from the tap we used to have tank, tank, our tank had uh, rain water. We uh, like drinking rain water. That was better than the water in our well because our well had little bit salty water because the sea is, is, was, sea is nearby our farm. Salt water used to come in our, um, in our well and uh, it was a bit, uh, hard water we say hard water and the rain water is soft water and we like drinking rain water so rain water was very good for us when it was rainy season we used to run around and jump and have rain bath nowadays people go in the rain people say no no don't go don't go you might get sick but it wasn't like that in our days we used to as soon as there was rain we used to uh, we used to run around in the rain and we never got sick being in the rain all the time it was uh, like that in our days we were not afraid of rain we used to go in the rain we used to uh, go and plant uh, plant rice in the muddy field in the muddy field we planted rice in the muddy field so uh, we didn't get sick nowadays people are afraid to get wet and get sick uh, I got one rhyme for you Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, say, yes, say, three bags full. 
one for the master, one for the den, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. We used to say a lot of rhymes in our school early days classes, one and two, we used to say a lot of rhymes, rhymes helped us to learn English. I got some jokes for you. What do you call a train that carries bubble gum? What do you call a train that carries bubble gum? We call it choo choo train. Choo choo train carries bubble gums. What do we get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? You got frostbite. You get frostbite. So, uh, that was my joke. I got other things, a uh, few other things, two good things to tell you. The hardest oak, the hardest oak is the oak you do alone. The hardest oak is the oak you do alone. But it is the oak that makes you strong. If you go alone, it makes you strong. It makes you confident. It makes you independent. And it makes you fearless. So if you are alone, don't be afraid. Learn to be alone. You will be strong. You will be confident. You will be independent. And you will be fearless. The sun is alone. The sun is alone. Eagles fly alone. Lions walk alone. But they are very powerful. They are very powerful. Because although they are alone. Because sometimes we have to be alone. Nobody stays forever. Nothing is permanent. So that's now there's another thing I wanted to tell you. Uh, people eat a lot and try then try to lose weight. People try to lose weight and it is very hard. It is very hard to lose weight. And people some people say eat lemon, you will lose weight, eat uh, ginger, you will lose weight. People say a lot of things like that, but there is nothing that you eat and lose weight. You can't eat. And even exercise, you do a lot of exercise, you don't lose weight. So there's a joke about uh, losing weight. There is one exercise you can do, one exercise you can do to lose weight. And that exercise I'll tell you in my next episode. I got a few other things to tell you. A smile is a sign of joy. A smile is a sign of joy. A hug is a sign of love. And a laugh is a sign of happiness. A smile is a sign of joy. A hug is a sign of love. And a laugh is a sign of happiness. I hope you are uh, also enjoying your card game, playing this challenge trump. If you can make seven hand in a straight draw, then only you choose uh, accept. Otherwise, you decline. And the highest card is A. We start off with A. And let's see if my partner has king of king of clubs oh he put that cut with a of diamond that was good how many of you are enjoying playing a
card games uh, seven hand you can play with your uh, friends family members thank you very much bye